grass sand, doing some sun gazing. And thinking too, while I was walking I wanted to make a video, but now I've stopped, I'll make one. Um, on cultivation of value as a male, how to do it, um, and why? Because I feel like if you're going to live in duality, the structures of how to become a truly masculine man into a, a, a rite of ceremony, a rite of passage has always been there for our ancestors um, in duality for the man particularly, not as the um, for the women as much as the men, like this has always happened, this would be in um, drum circles, walkabouts in Australia, uh, psychedelic trips with a shaman present for the young boys into teenagehood, um, for the Spartans they'd go out and hunt, um, you know, in the wilderness with just a spear, there's always been um, in the best of cultures and the ancients always seem to know that uh, weak men would be produced by non initiation stories and, and men not tapping into their fears and facing their fears and overcoming challenges and I feel like we've lost that definitely this initiation ceremony at least in in Western culture maybe some cultures around the world still have it but we can take it back and um, one of the ways to take it back you know as David David calls it the way of superior man because unfortunately um, whereas most men in olden times were forced to be divine masculines by the surroundings of, of um, you know, not being able to hunt, um, food not being available 24-7 and just their culture of the olden times, at least my stereotype of the idea of it was that they were, everyone was divine masculine and now unfortunately everyone is divine and godly underneath, don't get me wrong, everyone has a soul and one consciousness but since we're in duality we've lost our right of passage as men to divine masculinity because we have no rights of passage and no nation territories. So um, David Dade talks about a way that resonates strongly with me. So you, you face your fears and you tap into your fears, not like majorly too quick and jump and freak yourself out so you can't metastasize the experience, you do it slowly. Um, and so one way I, I think for myself and for anyone really, a good way is, as, as a man is just to go around camping, go wild camping, go and sleep where you want, do what you want, look after yourself, drink your pee, um, not be too, um, what's the word for it, relying too much on society to do shit because this is this is kind of scary it's kind of cool it's kind of adventurous it's what men was meant to do to become more present to the moment it builds your confidence if you just go around here and go around there and by yourself it empowers you it gives you great reference experiences expand your comfort zone but not too much um, and if it does too much you'll survive anyway you just go a little bit slow you stick it to take a step back and take it a little easy but you'll be surprised what you can achieve and how much you can tap into divine masculine by constantly facing your fears and constantly doing these challenges and challenges are what men thrive on it increases our testosterone levels it makes us fucking happy it makes us feel like worthy of um, the divine feminine whereas I feel like a lot of guys don't feel worthy of the divine feminine and they feel there's too many guys in our society in western culture that feel like girls and women are outside their league and the reason why in my opinion is because they've lost the divine masculine nature because they've grown soft um, because the matrix has made them soft it's not even their fault there is no initiation series there is no stepping up and um, they just find a job stay in it for 20 years moan bitch find a wife kids and get needy sleep with like not many girls, don't date around, don't face their fears, don't take a risk and um, it makes them soft and this is what we're missing out in society and this is unfortunately the case um, where we find us now with a lot of weak men um, good souls, good people, we all are, but just lost the divine mass in nature and it's very sad and um, it's something that I lost too and I'm regaining it, not that I'm divine masculine at all, I'm just trying my best to face my fears and I feel like it, that's why I talk to you now, I feel more confident, I feel more happy, I feel more manly, I feel like I deserve um, a relationship with a very beautiful girl because I've earned it. I feel like that's what a man, divine masculine, has always done. They've had to earn it with initiation ceremonies in the ancient cultures and looking after themselves, hunting and um, foraging and looking after their shit. And now we just become soft, so soft. And now we just got so many men that have bad beliefs, values, mindsets, needy with women, and it's just it's just horrible to see because when the divine masculine loses themselves. Um, they become weak, they project their hatred of, of women and they project the hatred of themselves onto women and their relationships with guys and everything it just weakens everybody, it brings everybody down and, and they just hang around each other and like crabs in a bucket and one tries to come up, you know, step up and face their fears and do something crazy like I'm doing and then just the others bring them down so yeah, be your own man and step into divine masculine power is the summary I'm trying to make here and you know, it's your journey, you're not going to become fucking, you know, divine masculine uh, as a point where you're just like, oh yeah, I've made it. No, it's a journey, isn't it? You just do what you want to do and get the reference experiences of constantly facing your fears and constantly expanding your comfort zone and constantly becoming a better man and eventually that will be you. That will be, yeah, you will become. Peace.